Welcome everyone, this is Zanta with Repo Products. Today's video is on how to insert a PDF file into Revit 2020. Here I have Autodesk Revit 2020 open. I have a project already started with a PDF file already inserted. If we select that PDF file, you'll notice that it acts as a raster image in Revit. And you'll get a contextual tab in the ribbon as well as property information such as the width and the height of that image and the scaling as well. You also have in the contextual tab of the ribbon the ability to manage that image, enable snap functionality, or move it to the front or bring it to the back or up or back a level. So how do I take a PDF file and bring it into Revit? I'm going to go ahead and delete this one for now and delete my geometry and start from scratch. I head over to the Insert tab of the ribbon. I'll head over to the Import tab uh, panel, and then I'll click PDF. When I do this, I head over to my folder that I have the PDF file, select it, and hit Open. When I do this, you'll get a window that's called Import PDF. You have the ability to resize this window if you need to. And if you have a PDF file that has more than one sheet, um, you can display it in different um, fashions and it will also list the pages as well. You go ahead and specify the resolution of how you want to bring the PDF file in as well and it will figure out the size of the paper. Click OK. Once you've done this the PDF file will come in and you'll notice that you'll get the cross lines and the four little dots that represent the edges of the image. Click to place it and there you go. If you need to, you obviously can move your elevation marker symbols. Now again, once you've placed it, you can select and get access to all of those functions that we talked about earlier. So if I click Manage Images, you'll see a window that's called Manage Images, and it will list all the images that are in the file and how many times it's been inserted and where it's being used. You can delete, obviously, if you don't need them anymore. You can also click Enable Snaps because by default when you insert it, snaps are not enabled. So when you try to say measure something, because we do want to double check the dimensioning, if I head over to the Measure command and try to measure, it won't snap to it. So make sure you select and click Enable Snaps first. You can do that over there in the contextual tab of the ribbon, or you can do it in the Properties panel right here. Once you have that enabled, then when you do the dimensioning measuring check, you'll see that it actually snaps to the geometry. And I'm getting 19.6 horizontally, which is good. And we'll check a vertical dimension. For example, let's do this one here to um, here. And you may have to zoom in a little bit if necessary. Um, and I've got 22 feet. So I'm off by 1 64th of an inch, but for all intents and purposes, I think that's fine. Now that that PDF file is placed exactly where we want, we can go ahead and start building the geometry of uh, Revit content against that PDF file. Just the same method of workflow if you insert an AutoCAD file. So heading over to the Architecture tab, I can go ahead and specif kind of specify the kind of wall that I want and you know all the property data about it. And then I can go ahead and start drawing that Revit geometry <clears throat> against the PDF file. It makes uh, life a little easier for trying to create geometry when all you have is a PDF file to work with. Now that I've done that, if I shade it, you can see it a little easier. If I head over to a 3D view, you will see your 3D Revit geometry, obviously, but you will not see the PDF file in the 3D view. And that's because the image was inserted in level one plan view and it is a basically a two-dimensional type of view um, and you don't have the ability to say specify it to be visible across all other views whereas for example if you click insert and you bring in a CAD file you'll see over here there's a function that says current view only this denotes that when you bring a CAD file in it looks and shows up in all the views that are necessary unless this is checked we don't have that functionality in inserting a PDF file yet. Uh, or hopefully, as you can see here, there's, there's nothing um, that gives me that capability. And that's how you use the uh, Revit 2020 software to insert a PDF file for use.
Thank you very much for watching.